Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa, and it's been a while. So I do have a pick a card reading for you guys today, but before I get into that, I thought I should give y'all an update on like where I've been and what's been going on. So if you don't care about that, there will be a timestamp in the description. Uh, so you can skip ahead to the actual reading if you want to. If you do care, hi. So like 10 months ago when I disappeared from YouTube, I had been doing readings at that point for about a year and a half. Um, I was doing them pretty much every day, all day, and I was getting super burnt out. Um, I was starting to have a lot of trouble like actually doing the readings, like tuning in and staying focused, and it was becoming very frustrating, and I just felt like I needed a break. Um, I never intended to be gone as long as I have been. It's just been kind of like one thing after another. I do want to get back into the habit of uploading stuff for you guys here. I'm probably not going to be doing it quite as frequently as I have like in the past um, because some of you may know that I started a new job in October which is going really well and I'm really loving it. However, I do have a lot less free time now because of it. I started working for a local rescue, an animal rescue. I clean, I take care of animals, I talk to adopters and potential adopters, and it's great. I am still offering personal readings as well. If that's something you're interested in, just be aware that I don't have quite as much availability nowadays as I used to. Um, the wait times might be slightly longer. So yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So um, let's get into the reading. Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with a reading for you today. We are going to be talking about what your person of interest wants you to know. So we're basically looking into uh, messages to you from your person. So I have three piles of cards here for you guys to choose from. Um, one, two, and three. For group number one, I have this Dalmatian Jasper. Group number two has Clear Quartz. And group three, I have this Amethyst Pendulum. Okay, so I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. You can pause if you want to, uh, take some time to meditate on the person that you want to hear from today, and the timestamps for the readings will be in the description below. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started with group number one. Okay, so group one, those of you who chose the Dalmatian Jasper, let's find out what your person wants you to know. So our first card here is have faith, and it says trust your faith in this situation. We also have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. We also have Love Yourself First and your tarot cards. We've got the Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Six of Coins. Oh, this is the Knight of Coins. Sorry, not Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups, Knight of Coins, Six of Coins, Eight of Cups, Seven of Coins, and three of swords. So let me take a moment to look these cards over. Hmm. Okay. So the first thing that I'm getting here is that it seems to me like for most of you who chose this group, you and the person you're thinking of right now are possibly in separation or there's some kind of distance between the two of you um like emotional distance like maybe you guys just 
aren't having a lot of communication or your communication with each other hasn't been very consistent in the recent past. There's just, it, it just feels like distance between the two of you right now. And along with that, it seems to me like there's a lot of uncertainty for you, um, but also for your person. Like there's, there's really this sense of like, what's, you know, what's going on here? What's going to happen between the two of us? What's the future of this? Um, I do see with the Queen of Cups being here I immediately, um, it's clear to me that this person has a lot of love for you. Um, the Queen of Cups is really a card that talks to me a lot about like very strong emotional bonds and attachments between people. Um, it can represent like the subconscious intuition. Um, it's a very spiritual but also very emotional kind of energy and the Queen of Cups I see as like a, just a very loving, very gentle, compassionate kind of figure. And then this oracle card, a message for you, I mean, this clearly states that, you know, the person you're thinking about loves you a great deal and cares about you very much. Um, going back to what I was mentioning a minute ago about how it seems like there's distance between the two of you. Um, the Eight of Cups here is kind of talking to me a bit about that. This card usually is about like walking away from something or leaving a situation behind. There is a sense of sadness with this card. So a lot of times it comes up in situations where, you know, you may not really want to walk away from something or someone, but you might have to. It might be necessary for some reason. And then we also have here the Three of Swords, which is about grief, heartache, um, loss. This is a very heavy, very painful kind of energy. So it seems to me like there has been some heartache, uh, in this connection. There's, there's been some difficulty. Um, I don't, it, it doesn't seem like actual conflict between the two of you necessarily. Like, I don't really feel like you and this person, um, have technically been like at odds with each other but it just kind of feels like maybe your circumstances have really been working against you does that make sense like there's something some kind of like external forces that have kind of been like preventing the two of you from being together or from like taking things further in your relationship it just seems to me like you know, from, from your perspective, perhaps things have been moving forward too slowly. Um, coins is earth energy. This is a very slow moving kind of energy. Um, the knight of coins tends to represent like very slow, but steady progress being made towards a goal. The seven of coins talks to me about long-term investments. Okay. Um, putting the effort into something in order to build it up or establish something in some way. Um, but again, like the Knight of Coins, it's a very slow moving energy. So it's like progress is being made, but it's happening so slowly and it might be, uh, it, it might become kind of frustrating. Um, the Six of Coins here talks about balance and reciprocation. Um, Your person is wanting you to know that, first of all, they are acknowledging that things have not really been progressing in an ideal kind of fashion. Um, you know, it seems to me like you, the people watching this, are feeling kind of frustrated with what's been going on in this connection, or maybe with what hasn't been going on in the connection, um, you know. And it feels like your person is feeling a similar way, similarly frustrated with things. Um, and it's like they are recognizing how you're feeling. They're recognizing that things haven't been going according to plan. There's been a lot of obstacles. There's been a lot of setbacks. Um, I think for some of you, your person maybe had to step away from your relationship in order to take care of something else that was going on in their lives. Um, like some kind of really personal issue, perhaps going back to that eight of cups energy. Um, but they're saying, 
you know, just because we have to be apart right now or just because we have this distance between us right now, it doesn't mean that I don't love you. It doesn't mean that I don't care about you. It doesn't mean that I don't want to be with you and work on things because they're saying they really do. They really do want to work on things. They really do want to have the opportunity to, you know, allow this relationship to grow and flourish and like see what it's capable of becoming. Um, they're saying, you know, even though we haven't been in touch as much as you or I would, would really prefer, I'm still thinking about you all the time and I'm missing you a lot. And I just, I, I don't want you to give up on this connection because I'm, I'm working really hard to sort things out, to create space in my life for our relationship to to grow and blossom and they're saying I'm just hoping that you will have patience with me in doing this I'm just hoping that you won't give up on me while I'm working to better myself in order to better the potential um, for our relationship okay is this making sense um, It kind of seems like maybe in the past, uh, this person was not really able to invest in the relationship as much as you were investing, okay? Um, because going back to this Six of Coins, it just seems to me like there was some sort of imbalance here previously, or there might still be an imbalance between you currently. Um, but again, I feel like that's because there's something, some kind of external factors or circumstances that are preventing them from really throwing themselves into the relationship the way that they want to. Because I feel that they do want to. Um, you know, it, it seems like... It's, it's like they're saying that they have so much faith in your connection. Like, they really believe that that your relationship can grow and become stronger and solidify and like you the two of you can really build something together it's like they believe in that possibility um and they're hoping that you believe in that too and it's like your connection like working things out so that your relationship can flourish it's like that's a big motivator for them right now to take care of whatever it is that they're dealing with. You know, for some of you, I feel like your person might be dealing with, like, family-related issues. Um, for some of you, I'm getting possibly, like, legal stuff. Legal and or financial problems might be holding them back a lot. Um, but, you know, whatever the case, they just... They, they just don't want you to give up on them. They want you to have patience with them. And, you know, some of them are saying, I know you've already been waiting for a long time, but I'm just hoping that... I'm just hoping that you'll see that the wait is worth it, that, that it will be worth it in the end. Um, and I'm also getting that... This person is... Even though the two of you aren't really able to be together right now the way that you would like to be, even though there are obstacles between you right now, this person is saying, like, they don't want you to be agonizing over the situation. They don't want you to be worrying about it or stressing about it. They want you to be taking care of yourself and loving yourself first. Um... That's what this card is saying. It's it pretty pretty straightforward. It's like, you know, I'm I'm trying my hardest to take care of my problems and you know get where I need to be in order to, you know, maximize the chances of our relationship being successful. And I'm hoping that you're doing the same. You know, I'm hoping that you're taking care of yourself and you're focusing on your goals and and you know you're doing what you need to do as well. And they're saying like. They don't want you to be sad about the situation. They don't want you to feel alone because you're not alone. Even though 
you may not have that much contact, even though there might be a lot of distance between you. They want you to know that you, they, they are with you and you are with them. Like you are always on their mind and in their hearts. And they just, <sighs> they want you to know that you're not alone. Okay. They're saying, I believe in us. I believe in what we can build. I believe in what we can accomplish. Um, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to be like repeating myself, but they just, they really keep emphasizing that message to me. So yeah, have faith in this person. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you have already been waiting for quite some time, um, and, you know, just because this person wants you to wait for them and they want for you to be patient with them, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to. If you want to continue waiting for this person, then you can. Because it seems to me like they really do want to show up for you. Like, they really do want to make the effort to make things work out. Um, so, yeah, just try to hang in there, guys. Um, group one, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Uh... I hope that this resonated with you, and I hope that um, this reading was interesting. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm wishing you guys all the best, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Okay, group number two, those of you who chose the clear quartz, let's find out what your person wants you to know. So your first card here, we have actions speak loudly, and it says express your love through actions. We also have this card, which says when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And then pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And your tarot cards, we have Four of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Two of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, group two. This is kind of interesting because just right off the bat, I'm getting some like kind of conflicting energies, okay? Um, let me let me start by talking about this card. This is Four of Cups. Um, the energy of this card in general just is very, like, blah. This card is really about defeat, disappointment, boredom, apathy. You know, it's, it's, it shows up a lot in situations where things just haven't met your expectations. Things have not gone the way that you planned or hoped that they would. The Hanged Man is slightly similar um, in the sense that, again, this is a very, very passive energy like the Four of Cups. Um, this card a lot of times represents stagnation, delays waiting around for something to happen. In some cases, it can also represent like new perspectives as well. The Nine of Swords here is about anxiety and stress, overthinking things, being really stuck in your head about something. The Seven of Pentacles is like the Four of Cups in The Hanged Man. It's a very slow moving, almost stagnant kind of energy. Um, oftentimes this card is about like long term investments, like very slow but steady progress being made towards a particular goal. like working to build something up or establish something. Um, it's also definitely a card of patience and waiting. Um, I get the impression, with all of that said, I get the impression that you and the person you're thinking of right now, um, you know, it, it seems pretty clear to me that there has been a lot of delays in this relationship or a lot of stagnation within your connection like things just 
haven't been progressing the way that you hoped that they would be. Um, it's kind of like the two of you have just sort of been treading water, like your relationship has reached this point where it's it's it began to stall and like the two of you haven't been able to get out of that rut. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like a big problem with that, like a, a big part of why you've been unable to get out of that rut or, or that stagnant energy is because it seems like, it seems like for a lot of you, your person has... It's like they just, they haven't been working with you, okay? It's like they haven't been demonstrating to you that, you know, they're willing to work for this relationship or they're willing to fight for this relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it seems to me like, you know, actions speak loudly. This card being here, it, it feels like... <sighs> this person is kind of acknowledging that like their actions, their behavior maybe hasn't been really in alignment with like what they've been telling you. And then with this card being here, pay attention to the red flags. It seems to me like this person possibly hasn't been totally honest with you about something or, you know, they've been saying they're going to do something, but then they, they still haven't done it and it's been a while. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like this person is trying to hold on to this connection, but they're not, they, or so far they haven't really been doing like what they need to do in order to maintain your relationship. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's like, they're acknowledging right now that they've been doing that. They're acknowledging that they really haven't been doing their part or pulling their weight. Okay. Um, I think for some of you, this person has perhaps been dealing with some mental health issues um, like depression or anxiety or something like that that has been causing them to, you know, behave in this way, um, to, you know, not follow through with things, to not put as much effort into the connection as you are. Um, and they're saying... You know, I, I know that I'm in the wrong here. I know that I haven't been doing what I need to do. I know that I've been disappointing you and letting you down. And because of my actions or my lack of action, really, uh, things have reached a standstill. And I don't like that because I do love and care about you. I do feel passionate about this connection. I feel passionate about you, but it's like I'm having a hard time really tuning into that kind of energy. I'm having a hard time getting out of this stagnation, this 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 rut that I found myself in. Um okay, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, it's it's like for a lot of you, your person has gotten themselves into a rut and as a result, your relationship has similarly um kind of reached a standstill because they have just totally stalled like in their personal lives like you know what they're doing where they're going like it, it's like they've stopped putting effort into a lot of things okay does that make sense um and they're saying i know that this kind of behavior is is, is kind of alarming it can be a problem and i feel like for some of you Maybe you've been thinking about, you know, should I just move on from this? Should I just let this person go and figure their own thing out and, you know, move on? Um, if that's something that you've been considering, this person is really um, asking that you not make any decisions yet about what to do here. Um, they're, they're asking you to please hold on, please give them some more time because they're really trying to figure out, let's see, how do I want to say this? It's like they're really trying to figure out how they can make things right. 
um, I'm, I'm getting a real sense of like frustration here because your person feels like they're really letting you down. Like they are recognizing that in some ways they've really disappointed you and they're recognizing that many, that, that you are kind of becoming like disillusioned with this whole situation, with this whole relationship. Um, and they know it's like, they're, okay, they're saying, I know how this looks from the outside. I know how this lo probably looks from your perspective. Um, you know, from your perspective, it probably looks like I'm not, I'm not making any effort in this relationship. From your perspective, it probably looks like I'm a bum and I don't care, but that's not the case. I do care. I'm trying to express that. I'm trying to... I, I'm trying to gather my energy and my motivation and do better. Um, I mentioned this already, but it, it, I really get this impression like a lot of you, um, your, your person that you're thinking about is struggling a lot with something personal, something mental or emotional going on. But yeah, I think that's what's causing this person to be stuck in this energy state. And it's like they're trying really hard to, well, let me, let me rephrase. Let me back up a little bit. They're saying right now, every day is kind of a struggle. And from your point of view, it might not look like they are trying very hard to do better or to make more of an effort. But they are. And they're just asking you to trust that they are. Okay. Um, going back to this Two of Cups, like, this is unity and together togetherness and unconditional love. And this is, this is how your person feels about you. And they don't want to lose the connection that they have to you. But they're also saying, like... I wouldn't blame you if you did walk away because I'm taking so long to get my shit together, you know? Um, hmm. This is kind of a, this seems like kind of a tough situation group too. And, uh, it's, you know, with this being a general reading, especially it's difficult to say, whether your person is actually going to be successful in getting things together and and doing more, doing better. You know what I'm saying? And it's also difficult to say when that might happen, um, how much longer it, it might take, how much longer you might have to wait. So, you know, moving forward with this connection, I, I feel like group two, you guys just kind of have to Trust in your intuition, trust your gut, and do what feels right to you guys, okay? Um, so, group two, that was kind of, kind of a heavy message. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there. That's really all that I'm getting for you guys right now. So, I hope that this resonated with you. I hope it was interesting. Um, Leave me a comment, subscribe if you're not already. I love to hear from you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. I, I really appreciate you joining me today, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. So, lastly, we have group three. Those of you who chose the Amethyst Pendulum. Okay, so... Group number three, let's find out what your person wants you to know. So for your first card, we have focus on love, and it says look for the good in everyone. We also have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. We've got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then your tarot cards... Okay, we have the Page of Arrows, the Woodward. This is uh, Justice in more traditional decks. The Nine of Vessels, the Great Bear, or Judgment. Eight of Arrows, 
and the two of vessels. Okay, guys. So immediately, like the very first thing that's jumping out at me here is the fact that there seems to be a lot of love between you and the person you're thinking about. There's a lot of mutual fondness, affection. It seems like the two of you really, really deeply care about each other. And that's beautiful. Like this is a really beautiful kind of energy going on here. Um, it feels like for you and this person... Possibly in the past, the two of you had some struggles in your relationship. There may have been some obstacles that the two of you had to face. Um, you know, whether that was personal issues between the two of you, misunderstandings, miscommunications, or even like circumstances, outside factors that were having a negative impact on your relationship. Like, for example, I feel like some of you maybe had a hard time just like getting together, like initially, if that makes sense. Um, for example, like some of you maybe were long distance and were having a lot of trouble, like just coming together and being able to see each other face to face or something like that. Um, if that doesn't specifically apply to you, don't worry about it. That's just, you know, a possibility. It just seems like, like I said, there was maybe in the beginning something that was kind of, uh, delaying your actual coming together with this person. Um, but it feels like for the majority of you, like you and this individual are like in union with each other or you're very close to having that happen. Okay. With the two of vessels being here, I see like a very strong connection between the two of you. I see a lot of love and a lot of compassion and it's like you and your person have been working very hard together as a team in order to make things work. I feel like the two of you have a lot of mutual goals for your relationship. Um, I feel like the two of you are equally investing in your connection and you've got big plans. You've got big plans that you're working towards. Um, this person is really emphasizing right now this message that you changed their life for the better. Before they met you, they felt lost. They felt like they were just kind of floating in the wind with no real direction, no real idea of where they were going or what they were doing or what they even wanted for themselves. For some of you, your person maybe had, you know, kind of bad luck in relationships before they met you and they may have gotten to a point where like they kind of resigned themselves to being alone like they maybe had started to think like you know maybe I'm not maybe I'm not meant to fall in love or maybe I'm not meant to get married or have a family of my own or something like that but then you came along and you kind of changed their whole perspective you changed their idea of like what they were capable of and what they could achieve for themselves okay um and this oracle card here manifesting miracles is kind of talking about that you know it's it's showing um it's saying like you helped to open their eyes to their real potential as a human being. Um, but this Manifesting miracle card, Miracles card is also talking to me about the fact that, like I already mentioned, it seems the two of you have big plans. And it, it, I feel that this person is extremely excited about the future of your relationship. Okay? Um... But yeah, really like life-changing energy here, especially with the Great Bear card. This is judgment in most decks. Um, this is like rebirth, awakening, uh, a very significant transformation. Um, the Nine of Vessels is about wish fulfillment. It talks a lot about emotional abundance, emotional fulfillment, and satisfaction. Um, the Woodward, balance, reciprocation. Uh, in some cases, when we're talking about relationships, this card can also represent marriage or, you know, a union of some kind, similar to the two of vessels in that regard. Um, there's been, they're saying that 
they have received so much love into their life since you came in. Not just love from you specifically, but it's like, since they met you, since they got to know you, they've been able to open themselves up and accept love just in general. Like, I... They're, they're kind of implying to me that in the past, they were maybe closed off to their emotions. Like, they, they maybe had a habit of suppressing things. They maybe weren't very open with other people about their feelings. Um, they might have had a lot of walls up and, and didn't feel comfortable allowing themselves to be vulnerable in relationships. And so that kind of drove a wedge between them and anybody that they were involved with. Um, but... Something about you, something about your connection made them feel like they wanted to let their guard down. It made them feel like it was okay to be vulnerable, to allow themselves to let you in. And since they made the choice to let their walls down and let you in, it's like they've been able to receive love from so many other sources as well like like all of their relationships in their life has deepened and become more meaningful for them does that make sense like relationships with their friends with their family it's like they feel so much more in tune with their own emotions and that has really deepened their connections to lots of other people that 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 they have in their life okay do you follow me and your person is extremely grateful to you for that. They're saying, like, you changed my life. You, you showed me that love is good. That it's, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's not weakness. It actually takes a lot of strength to be vulnerable to someone else. And your person is also conveying, like, a lot of excitement about the future of your relationship. I feel like for most of you, like, this person is ready to, like, settle down. Or, you know, eventually they want to, to have that happen. Like, they want to settle down. They want a real long-term commitment between the two of you. For some of you, this person would like to have a family with you. Um... And family doesn't necessarily mean, like, having children. A family can be, you know, whatever, really whatever you want it to be. Um, a dog, like, six cats, whatever. Um, but yeah, this person desperately wants to share their life with you. Like, they're so excited about the, the future, uh, doing that. Um, all the things that the two of you are going to do together places you're going to go, the things you're going to experience, the love that you're going to share moving forward. There's just so much excitement and so much optimism that I'm getting here from this person. And the love is just <laughs> so strong. It's so strong and it's so profound. Um, group three, I feel like you guys are very lucky people because this person just seems so invested. Like, they are serious about you. They are so serious about you. Um, and they, <laughs> they're saying, um, they really want things to, 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 to move forward to the next level, like, very soon. Um, this is not really a situation where, you know, they feel like they need to take their time with things. They feel very certain about you, about your relationship, about what they want here, and they feel ready to, like, pursue what it is that they want with you. Um, so, you know, regardless of, like, the current status of your relationship with this person, it seems to me like they want to take things to the next level. So, you know, if you're just dating right now, they want to get committed. If you're in a serious relationship, they they want to, you know, get engaged or get married or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're saying, you really helped me see the good in myself and also in the world around me. And 
I can't, I can't imagine what my life would have turned out to be if you never, if you never came into it. My life would be empty like it was before. I don't know where I'd be. I don't know where I'd be going. I don't even know if I would still be here. And I want to be clear, it's not necessarily that you guys have, like, given this person, you know, a, a new perspective on, well, okay, let me back up. <laughs> it's, it's not that this person's happiness is necessarily hinging on you or your presence in their life, okay? It's more along the lines of... This person has become so much more happy and fulfilled because you helped them to find the happiness and the peace within themselves. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, so it's like their, their happiness and their sense of inner peace and satisfaction and all of that is not totally dependent upon you. You help them to find that inside of themselves, okay? So I, I don't, I, I just wanted to make sure that this didn't come across as like a codependent kind of dynamic because for most of you, I really don't think that it is. I feel like for the majority of you, you and this person have a very healthy situation going on. Um, you know, you you are strong in your connection to each other. You're unified, you're a team, but you also have a real strong sense of yourselves as individuals as well. Um, and that's awesome. That's really great. So, um, yeah, kind of a straightforward message for you guys, group three. This person just keeps saying over and over again, like, I love you and I just, I just want to be with you always. <laughs> and you make me so happy and you, you've made me see like what I'm capable of and you know my real potential um so uh you know at the risk of repeating myself I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there uh I hope that this resonated with you guys group three I hope this was interesting I hope you enjoyed um leave me a comment subscribe if you're not already and you would like to uh I really appreciate you guys joining me today and I hope I see you next time bye